thinking, didn't you guys already review uh, Tour Byte or something? Uh, no, that's Tour Byte Soft, okay? This is completely different. A Tour Byte is special to me. It was the original string that I fell in love with that put strings on the map for me, you know? It made me realize that like, wow, like there's this whole world of strings out there. And, and at the time I was more into like rackets. And when I put the string in, I was like, oh my gosh, it's all about the strings. And today we're gonna find out what makes it such a good string and why I think it's an underrated string. It's not like, you know, Polytour Spin G, which has all these like giga spin structure and, you know, silicone oil infused technology and everything. But no, there's none of that here. This is a razor sharp four-sided gray string. Of course, just to keep it consistent, uh, we're stringing this up at 43 pounds full bed on the Yonex AI-98. It's a 16 by 19. It's uh, 310 grams and it's a quite flexy sort of muted racket. And that's how I'm able to get away with playing with all these kind of crazy stiff strings that we've been trying out. I fell in love with this string seven years ago, I think. We're gonna see, is this string like I remember it? Let's find out. Initial impressions, the string has pop. Does it has it has a crispness to it? I mean, you don't realize how dead and muted like something like Polytour Spin G is until you try Tour Bite. I mean, I thought, you know, Polytour Spin G had uh, had a ton of spin and everything, but it was definitely not shredding the ball. To this tour bite here, shredding the ball, felt flying everywhere, razor sharp. Yeah, so crisper than Hyper G. I have more power than Ultra Cable. More power than Poly Tour Spin G. No problem there. thing that I was finding with the string was because it has so much spin, because it has so much bite, and because it has a low launch angle, um, you feel like you can hit flat with it. And um, what that means for me is I start to slap balls with it because you feel like no matter what you throw at it, it's going to go back in. This starts to break my form down where I start to tuck my arm in and start to try to hit it hard. Not gonna lie, I was busting out the icy hot a little bit more uh, recently. And you guys saw it, I mean, Polytour Spin G, I was just kind of trying to hit so hard because I was trying to get more out of the string. Okay, pocketing wise, Hyper G is gonna have more pocketing. I think it has more pocketing than Ultra Cable. Ultra Cable is just such a stiff string. It feels more accurate than Polytour Pro. Polytour Pro is um, more of like a launchy type of string. And it's, uh, it's more of a springy type of string than Tour Bite. Compared to Tour Bite Soft, Tour Bite Soft is actually very sharp uh, in the first few sessions. Uh, and then it starts to kind of to wear off. But um, the original here is sharp, all right? One of the most awesome things with Tour Bite, if, if you're thinking about trying it, is the playability, okay? So compare it to like Hyper G and Poly Tour Pro. Hyper G Poly Tour Pro, they are softer of a string, but at about eight, 10 hours, that starts to fall off a cliff. Whereas Tour Bite just oh, keeps on no. going, going, and going. 
And there's not like this crazy sharp drop off of comfort. So who's the string for? I mean, obviously we've heard, you know, all the college players and like junior players are playing with tour bite. Um, that's true. Why? Because uh, Selenko makes high performance strings for high performance players. Okay. Straight from the director of the company. It doesn't mean you can't like try it out and just enjoy the, the just take it for a joy ride, you know, have some fun. Just don't play with it for too, too long if you don't know what you're doing. I mentioned Tour Bite a lot to, to people I play with and most of them are like, oh, I, I've heard of that. I've never, never played with it before. And I'm like, how are you playing with RPM Blast and, and Alu Power Rough and all this and you've never played with Tour Bite? Um, I still think it's an underrated string and uh, maybe it will always be, you know? And guys, I just want to say thank you so much for all anybody who's subscribed or has watched, um, anybody, all you guys who've been there since the beginning, whoever you are, uh, you guys are crazy, and thank you so much. It's been another amazing review. Selenko Tour Bite, the king of sharp polys, high performance polys. I think this one is gonna go down in the history books as being one of the greatest high performing poly strings of all time. So guys, thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Oh.